Ethan, do you love Teresa? No, I don't. I was going to tell Gwen about kissing Teresa and everything else that happened. But Mother reminded me how important my marriage to Gwen is. And I decided that telling Gwen would, would only confuse her and upset her. Maybe even jeopardize the wedding. And I didn't want to renege on my responsibility as a crane. Will you listen to yourself? But first you come in here and try to give me orders, and then you talk about your marriage to Gwen like it's some sort of business merger. I'm afraid that being named Alistair's heir is starting to turn you into... Well, him, and that is not a good thing. But I love Gwen, too. And I have no doubt that I want to marry her. Are you sure? Because I want you to marry for love and love alone. You know, I would hate to see you thinking about Teresa when you're saying I do to Gwen. Well, I won't. Look, I, I, I'm not marrying Gwen because I'm expected to. I'm marrying her because I love her and I want to have a family with her. And when I'm married, I will forget about Teresa. No. I mean, telling Gwen my so-called secret would only keep us from being happy. See, mine is just the opposite. Keeping my secret inside it haunts me every day of my life. By telling Luis and letting it out, it, it actually might be a chance for me to be happy. But of all the people to tell, why Luis? Why not a psychiatrist? I've been telling psychiatrists my entire life, and they all say the same thing, that it's just a dream, and they dismiss it. Look, Sheridan, I, I know you don't want to hear this now, but I've always thought it was a dream myself. Now you're starting to sound like Alistair and Julian. But Sheridan, we checked it out. I mean, there is no proof to back what you thought happened. But what about Louise's father? I mean, Martin Fitzgerald vanished around the same time that my nightmare started. That had to be a, a coincidence. I just don't understand how a dream could have such a profound emotional effect on my entire life. I mean, that my horrors could endure the same intensity that they always have all through the years. But I still think that I killed someone. Sheridan, look, we've, we've talked about this before. Yeah, I know, and I even dismissed it myself. But the more I start to think about it, the more I'm afraid that the person under that bloody sheet is Martin Fitzgerald. I mean, God help me if I killed Louise's father. <laughs> 